Hey everyone, this is MOSFET, your simple tech news update. Tons of medical tech news this time. Starting off, researchers at EPFL have developed a new AI algorithm to help identify respiratory diseases. Named Deep Breath, this tool is accompanied by the Pneumoscope, a pocket-sized digital stethoscope also designed by the team, which records lung sounds and respiratory frequencies, as well as body temperatures, heart rate and blood oxygen saturation to make diagnosing diseases much quicker and easier for doctors. The team recruited almost 600 patients from around the world to train the algorithm on, helping it to discover audio patterns related to various lung-related diseases. Earlier in the year, a team from MIT and Massachusetts General Hospital released a similar AI model, this time aimed at detecting future lung cancer risk. Called Sybil, this model was trained on the CT scans of tens of thousands of lung cancer patients. It predicted lung cancer development within one year, with 86% to 94% reliability, depending on the dataset used, and when predicting the likelihood of it developing six years in the future, the model showed 75% to 80% accuracy, holding the promise of a new early detection method that spots potential risks years before normal doctor diagnoses. AI is helping doctors in areas other than disease detection too. This week, Scribematic released their tool which takes recordings of patient visits, translating them into text, and automatically formatting them to comply with medical note standards, saving doctors time that they would normally spend creating them manually. It's definitely interesting as a potential way to improve efficiency, though I'm curious about the patient data privacy systems in place. EK Robotics officially launched the MediMove, an AGV or automated guided vehicle intended for use in hospitals. This robust little lifting table is designed for automatic transport of food, medicines, laundry and other containers, and according to the company is already being used in hospitals around the world. The bot can carry up to 500 kilogram loads and has 360 degree laser scanning for interacting with its environment. Medivis is another interesting company working in the medical industry. Their mixed reality platform assists surgeons by overlaying 3D scan data over patients with sub-millimeter accuracy so they can better visualize procedures without taking their eyes off patients. This week the company announced it had raised $20 million to develop its technology further, expanding from specialist brain and cranial applications to other parts of the body. In similar news, Avatar Medical's surgical planning system was recently granted FDA approval in the US for real-world use. It takes CT and MRI scans and automatically transforms them into explorable, interactive, three-dimensional models in virtual reality, aiding surgeons for the planning stages of complex operations. Moving over to manufacturing and 3D printing continues to be used by doctors and surgeons. Spinal surgery specialist Mighty Oak Medical recently announced a new partnership with HP to bring on-demand manufacturing of spinal models to their practice, giving surgeons the ability to test out specific implant placements on scale replicas of patients' spines. In their video they explained how Lee, a retired fighter pilot, benefited from the technology, undergoing a complex surgery which if wasn't performed would have left him wheelchair bound. Researchers at UC San Diego have used 3D printing to create a super low-cost smartphone attachment to measure blood pressure, saying that it is much cheaper than existing technologies and does not require any calibration like standard blood pressure cuffs. It works by clipping onto a smartphone's camera and flash and operating in a similar way to a pinhole camera. When the user presses on the spring-loaded clip, the smartphone's flash lights up the fingertip and the pinhole camera creates a red circle image. The app then watches for tiny fluctuations in brightness and size of the circle, converting this data into systolic and diastolic blood pressure readings. And ending this video, researchers at the University of Waterloo have also been experimenting with 3D printing, this time to develop wound dressings to improve burn and cancer treatments. The proof of concept is made from hydrogels derived from seaweed and can be custom printed to fit exactly on burn injuries for example. What makes these very interesting is that depending on the temperature they can firmly attach or detach easily, something that is a major issue in having to constantly redress burns, and as well as that these hydrogels can also have antimicrobial particles or medicines embedded directly in them to improve patient outcomes. Alright that's everything for this update, subscribe to the channel for more cutting edge news or check out the MOSFET playlist, see you next time.